Hi everybody, so in this video we're going to look at logarithms and logs are the inverse of exponential functions. So if we say we have a to the power of x is equal to n, we can express this relationship using logs. This a term becomes the base of our log and this x term is our power. Expressing this using logs, we say the logarithm of this n to the base of a is equal to x. So for instance, if we have three squared is equal to nine, we'll say the log of the nine to the base of three as the power of two. And we can check this using our calculator. We'll press the log button, we'll enter our base of three, and then we'll press nine, and this will give us the power of two, okay? So for question A, to write this using logs, we'll say the log of 125 to the base of 5 is equal to 3. Do you want to try and write question B and C in logarithm form? You can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for B, it'll be the log of 32 to a base of 2 will give us our power 5 and then for c the log of 1 16th to the base of a will give us negative 4. okay so moving on to question d if we have the log of 49 to the base 7 well to write this as a power we'll have 7 as our base raised to a power will equal 49 and we know 7 squared is 49, so our power will equal 2. Question E. We'll have a base, 10, raised to a power will give us 0 0.01. So in this case, our power will be negative 2. And then for F, we'll have a base of 3, raised to a different power, will equal root 3, which is 3 to the half. So z, the power, will equal 0 0.5. Okay? Let's try some more questions. Okay, so in example 2, we've been asked to make x the subject of each of these logarithms. And then for question d, to solve this equation involving x. So perhaps you want to try these questions yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through a work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for question A, we've got our base of 3. So the power of C plus 4 will equal X. And then you can see that X is the subject of this. For B, we've got our base X raised to the power of 3 will give us y minus 5. So to make x the subject, we need to take the cube root of both sides. So x will equal the cube root of y minus 5. Okay? And then for question c, we'll have a base of c raised to a power of 5 will equal 6x. We'll make x the subject. So this will be c to the 5 divided by 6. And then for question d, we've got 3x minus 2 as our base. We're raising this to a power of the 4. And this equals 81. And we should know that 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 1. So this means 3x minus 2 will equal 3. We can solve this equation. 3x will equal 5. x will equal 5 thirds. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.